God bless you in this wonderful day. Here is Daniela bringing you a word, some confirmation from the Holy Spirit. Really excited to release this word. God is telling someone today, transformation mm, is coming into your life. You're getting ready to become unrecognizable even to yourself. God is getting ready to birth in you and bring it into the physical realm, the person that you've been praying so long to become. God is telling somebody today, and I feel his presence on this one, hallelujah, to start acting and thinking like that person that you want to be. Start making decisions like that wife, that husband that you want to be. Start carrying yourself like that mother that you want to be. Even the way that you dress yourself, God is saying, start walking in this transformation, okay? The last couple of days I've been having this conversation with a lot of people, how whenever you're going to make a decision, you really have to start thinking about how it's going to affect your future, right? We know this to be true, but God is telling, and I want to focus a little bit on women, to start thinking about even your children with these decisions that you've been making before you go on that date, before you say I do, before you even text this guy back, start thinking about what your future would be like with this person next to you because God needs you to start making decisions like that person that you want to be, like that business owner that you want to be. The Bible, and I want to share two Bible verses with you. The first one is, it says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. The more you transform your mind, the more the manifestation of what you are asking God for is going to come to pass. But if you're constantly thinking like the old person that God is trying to set you free from, you're going to continue to walk in fear, in doubt, in poverty, and lack. And God is saying, in order for it to happen in the natural realm and the things that you can see physically it has to start happening in your mind you need to start budgeting better you need to start dressing better whatever that might be for you and i pray that as i release this word into your life the holy spirit brings you conviction and confirmation of the areas of your life that he is trying to refine right one of the best examples that we have in the bible of the power of our mind that i personally like is going to be the story of the israelites and i always share this on my youtube channel because i am a firm believer that god starts things within us and then we see it in the physical realm the bible says that god brought the israelites out of captivity out of slavery when they were in the desert they were complaining to god to such an extent that they told god you should have left us as slaves Okay, so if they would have had knowledge or understanding of the power of their mind, they would have understood the season that they were in and they would have been able to sense something better is coming. Something new is coming. It's getting ready to be better for us. We've been set free. But if your mind isn't connected to the Holy Spirit, you might be in a season of lack. And if your spirit is turned off, you might think this is as good as it gets. I should have just stayed at that job. But if you're connected to the kingdom of God, hallelujah, if you're connected to the Holy Spirit, you're a sense mm, breakthrough is around the corner and God is telling somebody just that you might have been hallelujah in the wilderness for a long time you might have been in captivity for a long time but God is getting ready to make you a free man and I hear the Holy Spirit say this is going to happen quickly this is going to happen suddenly this is going to happen fast so be ready and stay ready now I don't want this to be connected with like manifestation or new age. I don't really know anything about this. I'm preaching to you what the Bible tells us. And the second thing that I wanted, the second verse I really want to share with you is that the Bible says, to back up this word from the Holy Spirit, the Bible says that faith without works is dead. Okay, so you can want something really bad. You can pray. You can fast in the name of Jesus and do all of, this, all of these things. But if you're not walking based on what you want to see in your life, if you're not changing the way that you carry yourself, if you're not changing the way that you speak about yourself, if you're not making better decisions, if you're not changing your habits, if you're not walking by faith, then it's not going to come to pass because you're going to be your own barrier blocking what God is trying to birth in you. You have to be in agreement with the Holy Spirit. That is why we pray, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Right. If you don't know what the will of God is for you in this season of your life, you're always going to come against it. You're going to resist it. 
I don't want to change. This is how I am. My I was born this way. My mom was like this. My dad is like this. But here you're praying for God to do something new in you. The two don't align. You can't water two seeds. Either you're going to water the seed of your faith and of your prayers and of what God wants to do. Or you're going to water the seed of being the same person and being, again, the blockage. Sometimes it's not the devil. Sometimes it's just us right? So this transformation is trying to come to pass in your life. And I, I'm excited for you because this is something that you've been asking God for a really long time. You've been asking God, like, God, I don't want to be this way, X, Y, and Z. And it's coming for you. And as, listen to this part of this prophetic word, as you start walking in it the blessings are getting ready to reach you you're going to be like a magnet and you're going to start attracting the things that this new version of yourself deserves right based on who you are like if you're somebody that's full of bitterness in your heart right and i'm going to release another message about the state of our heart and how important it is but based on that is what you're going to be surrounded with and you're going to be surrounded with toxic people and toxic habits and toxic behaviors. But if this word is for you, you're somebody that's done the work. You've come into a season of healing and God is saying, get ready. Because this transformation is coming for you. And it's going to be better than what you expected. You're going to have rest. You're going to have peace. You're going to be blessed. You're going to reach a lot of the things that you thought could only be a dream. But that's why the Bible says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It all started with a vision and excuse the background noise it all started with the vision it all started with the dream and god is telling somebody today get ready to see it in the physical realm amen if you receive this word today with excitement i want you to comment amen this was for me if you're new to my youtube channel make sure to subscribe to my channel i've been receiving a lot of views but for some reason some people don't subscribe which is okay i don't mind i want people to receive the word but i would like to know if this community is growing and if people are receiving this word from the lord so i could continue to pray in that direction so again don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you could also follow me on instagram it's going to be in the description of this video daniela oyaka very soon i'm getting ready to open back up my coaching sessions i was working on some new projects some new forms so it could be a little bit better for the people that sit with me so stay tuned with that love you guys very much i hope this word was a blessing god bless you and i'll see you guys next time take care